When the controller has restarted, we no longer see the message prompting us to create the safety configuration. Since we now have a valid safety configuration, we can now configure the ASI interface. Click the ASI setting app. There are three options available, the configuration of the up and down buttons and the light indicator. Let's start with the up button, which is disabled by default. We enable it in this case. By default, we can enable or disable the lead through function. If we don't want to use the default function, we can create a custom routine that can be called by pushing this button. We can do the same with the down button. When we enable it, we see that the default function is add a move position in Wizard Easy Programming. Next, let's have a look at the light indicator. Here, we can enable or disable the light indicator. Check this box if you want to allow ASI operation in auto mode. To do that, you need a proper safety configuration and you need to be a safety user. Should you want to reset the configuration to factory settings, click Reset and OK. The ASI app also comes with a short tutorial on how to enable lead through via the ASI buttons. Avoid applying extra force when pressing the ASI buttons for correct payload detection.